Hello everyone, this is Mike again for you with another reaction video and today we are going to look at the world's most expensive watches. So let's start the video. Thank you also to all new subscribers. Right now we are at 81% of all viewers are non-subscribers. So please do me one favor, hit the subscribe button and uh, put on the bell. This would make me very happy. The top 10 most expensive watches in the world. So what exactly makes these watches so expensive? <sighs> it mostly comes down to just three factors. One, expensive parts. Two, the amount of time it took to complete and the detail level of what the watch is able to do, also known as complications. And three, how unique or how much of an intangible value can be attributed to the piece. Every watch we're going to feature has an incredible story behind that will make you wonder what it's like to own a watch designed only for the most affluent individual. Okay. <laughs> so these three points are making the price, but uh, you know, the, the main factor is if the brand decides to put the price tag of one watch at this level, then this is the price, okay? So for example, if you want one of the best chronographs in the world, you can go with the Speedmaster for less than 5,000 euro, and it's the best. If you want to spend more, you can go with the Daytona, but uh, the quality level, there is not a big difference in terms of the movement, for example, okay? If you check uh, RM models, Richard Mill, uh, of course, they develop everything in-house, every screw, uh, but nevertheless, the price of, let's say, 150,000 euro for a titanium RM, 11 there is no base okay this is just they think they should be pricing their watch at this level and then they're doing like this number 10 Louis, Louis Monet Meteor's watch okay price never heard of that brand maybe once seems to be pretty expensive 4.6 million just say 4.6 million dollars okay what if I told I hope it's a pocket watch. I hope it's a pocket watch. There was a watch so rare that in order to make it, you had to go into space. <laughs> then you can do nothing with it except, yeah. And get some moon rock. What if I told you there were four of these watches that apart from the beautifully crafted no. art. No pocket watch, okay. So um, they have a tourbillon watch and this is a meteor. Okay, so this is a special stone. They put it inside of uh, the watch. There's also a different brand out there from producer Michael. He wore this one, uh, Romain Jerome. So this watch has the same spirit, moon dust DNA. They also put moon dust inside of the watch, but it costs a lot less. Let's continue. Number nine. What? Hublot, Big Bang. Price, five million dollars. If Five million. The previous pieces stood out by the rarity of the components. This one focuses on only what? Only one material. Diamonds. And a lot of them. But just how many diamonds can one manufacturer put on a wristwatch? Hublot answered that question with, as many as we can fit in there. They ended up with 1,280 diamonds that have at least three carats each. It took over one full year just to find the diamonds and bring them to the headquarters from all corners of the earth but the end result was fully worth it okay i doubt that you know these are all not big stones so you probably you know find them on the open market uh five million uh, yeah. you're probably wondering who'd spend five million dollars on a full diamond exactly watch. Mm -hmm. beyonce knowles bought it for her husband jay-z as a birthday gift for his 43rd anniversary okay. So uh, I assume uh, probably she did not spend that amount of money. So this watch um, looks kind of nice, but in this price range, there are a thousand other watches which are looking more interesting. So you have just a regular Big Bang case and then diamonds all over it. The price, five million is just ridiculous. Uh, who is going to spend this amount? I mean, just ridiculous. The most complicated watch oh. ever made. Mm -hmm. Price, eight million dollars. The engineering under this watch. So the, the this kind of complication to fit all into one watch. I mean, this watch is like my fist. It's a big one. You know, you cannot wear it or, or something. You can just put it on the table and look at it. This time, Vacheron Constantine decided to make one of the most complicated watches in existence. The watch is fairly new compared to the rest of the ones on this list. 
A complication is the number of functions a watch can do, and this one has 2,800 components and 57 complications. Hmm. It has a solid 18 karat white gold case and military pita to be on perpetual calendar chronograph moon face. Densely packed components inside. Wow. It took a team of three watchmakers more than eight years to design yeah. and create the 2000. Ah, and this is a very interesting complication. It shows you the sunset and sunrise and the day length. How many hours of the sun is there at the day? Interesting. Setting the price somewhere between well, five to ten million. Look at the size of the watch. The it's the same like my hand. Private buyer picked it up for eight million dollars. Number seven, Patek Philippe. 1518 15, 15, 18. wristwatch. Yeah. Price 11,130,000. There are some rumors that this watch is also existing in uh, two tone. Maybe in the future there will be some pretty interesting auctions. Some pictures were released, and um, this is a historical reference from, from Patek Philippe. I think uh, the released during World War II. So there are a lot of rumors to this reference, okay? First of all, this was the King Farouk's uh, personalized uh, 1518, so it seems to be, but I don't want to talk about this. I want to talk about this picture, the King of Romania. Uh, it believes that he is wearing a two-tone 1518, and, uh, but nobody knows. So there are a lot of rumors to this reference. And here it says, uh, approximately from this reference, perpetual calendar chronograph, just 281 total pieces were made. So yeah, this is one of the most interesting historical watches from Patek. The reason why it fetched such a high amount is rather odd. It's the fact that it has stainless steel casing, a very rare thing since almost all luxury watches Patek made are with yellow or rose gold. That's right, all steel watches, especially in the classic complication uh, watches from a Patek in steel are the most expensive because they don't produce them a lot. While most other watches on this list get their value from the jewels added to the watch or are super complicated, this is a part of a very limited edition four-piece series, the Originals. On the back of the watch underneath the serial, you can notice a number one, which means oh, it's the first one of okay. the four. Number six, Jacob uh, and Co. This watch you probably know, uh, and you know also know who bought it. It was uh, Floyd Mayweather. The Jacob & Co. Billionaire watch is certainly one of the most luxurious watches in the world. That's correct. It's like they looked at the $5 million Hublot we mentioned before and said, yeah, we can do better. Adorned with 260 carats worth of brilliant emerald cut diamonds, it features a handcrafted movement comprising 167 components and 19 jewels. Just to put things into perspective. Look, in the dimension of his hand, the watch is like this. The company wasn't playing around when they said this is a billionaire's watch. <laughs> Number five, ah. Patek Philippe, Henry Graves pocket watch. This was also a historical watch. Patek Philippe made it for a special client, uh, Henry Graves. Uh, he, ha he was a big collector and then he said to Patek, he wants to order one watch for him and uh, this was his Grand Complication watch and uh, before the 1518 and uh, before uh, the Daytona from Paul Newman was auctioned, this was the most expensive watch ever sold. Price, $24 million. It used to be the most expensive pocket watch yeah. the world has ever seen. It was sold for 11 million back in 1999, but if we adjust for inflation, the economic environment and its novelty factor, this piece could easily go for over 15 million. They wanted to put that theory to the test. Last year it went on sale and it fetched a record-breaking 24 million dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. mm. Made in 1933 for banker Henry Graves and it took over five years to complete. It happens to be one of the most complicated and complex pocket watches in the world. And this also is existing today. So if you are a number one client at the house of Patek Philippe, uh, you can order yourself a watch. Let's say you want the color of the dial or you want different numerals or different hands. It's still possible today to order the watch you want, but you have to qualify for this level. It's uh, not very easy, you have to spend a lot of money, and of course the family needs uh, to like you. Number four, 
Chopard 201 Never carat seen. watch. Price, $25 million. More a jewelry piece. It made the front page of every luxury publication at the time. Contrary to the $5 million hub lot we've talked about earlier, the stones don't form any sort of pattern. I don't, I mean, it would be nice to see the watch from the side, but okay. ...or design, which leads us to the following question. Why? It turns out this wasn't just... What? These pictures make me crazy, just one second. So you can see that the whole watch is totally encrusted in diamonds, and they probably used just the best stones. This is why it cost that much. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these watches. Uh, they are more like a high jewelry piece, uh, but you know, if you like it, go for it. Number three, oh, Breguet Grand Complication Marie Antoinette. Price, Marie Antoinette. $30 million. This is currently the most- Just to chill, 30 million. Most expensive pocket watch in the world. So what makes this watch so costly? It was commissioned by an alleged lover of Marie Antoinette, the French queen. Work on the watch began in 1782 wow. by Abraham Louis Breguet and was finished in 1827 by his son, four years after his death. Wow. The result, an amazing piece of design, class and... Totally skeletonized, nice watch. Marie Antoinette did not get to see the watch since it was completed 34 years after her execution. <laughs> Sorry for that. 30 years after she passed, the watch was finished. Yeah, it's the same uh, with the delivery times currently. If you order Daytona, you will probably not get it. But 30 years after you're dead, maybe you will have the possibility to send your grandson to the official dealer. And the next watch. From a graph, they are the most, one of the most important distributors for diamonds in the world. Number two, Graf Diamonds, the fascination. Price, $40 million. Remember when we said that Chauffard opened the door for a new type of watch? Well, this is it. Jewelry companies have the upper hand when it comes to simply adding as many valuable gems and stones to a watch as possible. And Graf is the biggest name of all when it comes to diamonds. The watch consists of 152.96 carats of white diamonds with a center fancy cut, exquisitely rare stones. That is a 38.13 carat. So these pieces are just for publicity. They want to have one of the most expensive watches. They will put it in a showcase and I don't think they really, you know, try to move it. It, it won't be that easy to sell it. Uh, no. The fascination is an outstanding piece, carefully crafted so it can be worn a number of different ways, adding a touch of magic to the jewel. And the number one. Number one. Hallucination. Graf hallucination. Price, $55 million. Wow. This is it. The Graf Hallucination is the most expensive watch in the world. Where do we even begin? It was unveiled a couple of years ago at the Base World Watch and Jewelry Fair, the okay. first time Graf took part in it. They sure knew how to make an entrance. From the start, the watch was supposed to be the most valuable timepiece ever created, and they did it. The incredible worth stems from 110 carats of really rare and really- Yeah, so they just put all the expensive stones uh, they could find in one watch. This is pretty interesting. I also saw at the fair, uh, for example, this uh, diamond rose color selling for outrageous amount of, of money. So there are just, this is just a different kind of thing. This is not about watches. This is more about stones. Interesting to see. Uh, yeah. Just to put things into perspective, the most expensive watch costs as much as a Gulfstream private jet. Okay. Yeah, what can I say? These were the most expensive watches in the world. Uh, not the nicest though. So, you know, if I need to pick one favorite, I would probably go with, let me check. I would probably go with the Henry Graves watch just to, you know, you can put it on the table. It looks nice. All the other watches are not really my thing. Uh, the 1518 is also nice, but uh, in my opinion, what you get for your money, uh, the Henry Grace 
would be the nicest one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. We got, <laughs> we saw today some awesome timepieces which I've never seen before. So if you liked that video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's see, maybe I see you guys tomorrow with another video.